an oil and gas geologist working in Alaska's 60 below zero temperature, came to the Pacific island of Kauai. Sitting on the beach, his scientific mind would not stop even for this vacation. In spite of there being no oil in Hawaii, the sand piqued his attention. He wondered what story did these sediments have to tell. We were walking hand in hand on a white sandy beach of Hawaii. I'm a geologist. I specialize in the study of sediments and sedimentary rocks. It's an area of study that we geologists refer to as sedimentology. You know, I looked through the literature in some detail just to see if I could find something on the um, origin of the sediments of Hawaii, and especially the island of Kauai. But unfortunately, I found that there was relatively little that had been done. And that's when I decided I was going to take on the study by myself. So I investigated the shoreline of Kauai in some detail. I actually walked most of the 111 miles of the island. That allowed me to investigate in detail and collect a wide variety of samples from all the beaches for a more detailed examination. But that was just the beginning of the story. Sand has a history. The various properties of sand, such as its composition and texture, provide clues as to its origin and long history of transport and deposition. The story of sand is hidden in its properties. I collected sand samples systematically from over 200 beach localities and processed them for detailed examination under my microscope. You can't really see what the composition of the sand is unless you put it through a thin sectioning process. That allows you to view the internal structure of each grain by passing light through it. The internal structure of a grain tells you its composition, whether it be a grain of lava rock, a mineral olivine, coral, coral and algae, and so forth. One of the most interesting things about the beaches of Kauai is that each is unique. No two beaches are the same with respect to sand composition and texture. Hawaii's economy depends on sand. The first thing tourists want to do when they get here is to go to a sandy beach, relax, enjoy. Or to have their intimate destination beach wedding. Our endangered Hawaiian monk seals and green sea turtles' very existence depends on our sandy beaches for rest and for reproduction. The story of sand actually begins deep within the Earth's crust. There, molten magma churns up through a mantle plume, flowing slowly from the seafloor up to over 14,000 feet above sea level. These huge basalt lava shield volcanoes make up the long archipelago of Hawaii. These island mountains are weathered, eroded, and dissolved, and each has a story to tell. You know, sand is just a size term. It can be composed of almost anything. The sand here is composed mostly of tiny bits of lava rock and the greenish mineral olivine. We're here at the beach of Waimea, here at the river mouth. This is a historic site. This is where Captain James Cook first landed in Hawaii in 1778. Now the sand is probably not going to tell me much about that story, but if I look at it carefully, it's going to give me some clues as to its origin. So what a geologist like me would like to do first is bust this open so I can really see what's inside. Okay, there it is. You can see it's a, a gray, dense lava rock. It's got scattered grains of uh, that little green mineral olivine throughout it. So this is where it all starts. This is the parent rock. This is what we're looking for. We 
We're here about a quarter of a mile inland on the Waimea River. This is a well-developed large sandbar, but it's not as well sorted as the, uh, the beach sand. Now this is where it's really starting to get interesting. This is where it's a bit farther on up the uh, Waimea River. We're on a major sandbar. Well, actually it's composed predominantly of uh, cobble, pebble-sized fragments of lava rock. The river of Waimea meanders through and carves out the Waimea Canyon. Lava, layer by layer, is transported down to the mouth of the Waimea River. We've now driven about 13 miles up the Waimea Canyon Road that runs right up along the west rim of Waimea Canyon. If we look down the canyon here, we're looking to the south. It's about 10 miles from the ocean. You can see the steep sides of the walls of the canyon and the lava rocks exposed on both sides. There's a slight variation in the age of the lava from one side to the other, but basically these lavas range from about four to five million years old. That is, these are the layers of lava flows that created the shield volcano of Kauai five to six million years ago. These rocks are being weathered and eroded to produce the sediment that ends up in the canyon floor that is then carried by the Waimea River all the way 10 miles down to the shoreline before it gets to the beach. You know, the really interesting thing here is that all the beaches of Kauai are not like this. They have a complete different composition. And that's a really interesting story. Join us in the next episode of The Story of Sand when we explore the ancient lithified dunes of Mahalapu and continue a deeper investigation of the sands on the edge of Kauai.